What's up, YouTube? It's MR2. Well, let's take a look. We're going to start right here with this video. Uh, there's a rodent coil here with a magnet ball running inside of it. That's just a plastic aquarium. I only got one shot at it broke. He's uh, been using the bottom of a milk can. But nonetheless, we'll pause it here and see what's happening when, when we induce hydrogen and oxygen, which are split electrically through electrolysis. We introduce that gas into a close, an enclosure and ignite it with a spark. I did this with a rodent coil and you can see that, that these these plasma and that's what they are I've looked them up they're, they're high energy plasma this is what water looks like when it when it's highly charged when when the two elements are highly charged and they revert back to water they be, they, they become plasma and and plasma is is highly affected by magnetic field which you can actually see here you know the fact that all these are curving around that vortexual center of that that, that that coil you know shows that magnetism has a great effect on them we'll let them keep going and of course as Birkeland currents go and we'll get into that later on down the line this causes some of these plasmas if they get near a Birkeland current which are passing right through that room as well and it, they tend to travel in pairs and in triplets and we'll see some of these bursts as 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 a uh, we'll watch here as some of these uh, come in contact with other magnetic field lines in the room, Birkeland currents. Say, for instance, right here, this this plasma just came in contact with a with a Birkeland current in the room, it causes it causes what is called a pinch current or a pinch effect. Call it the Bennett pinch. And uh, I'll post all the links on all this stuff so you all can see it because, uh, it, well, there's it's, it's scientific evidence behind all the uh, the Bennett pinch currents and how they're made and what causes them and plasma physics and, and all that. It's, it's all explains how, how this is working. We'll just continue to watch as this goes on. It's uh, got another one here. We'll watch with the uh, milk cartons. This is in a negative view. Just let it play. It's incredible. This is exactly what the sun's doing. It's producing water. And we'll watch this here on uh, the milk card. And what happens here with the, it, it, this is not clear so it's a lot, it, it dims the uh, actual detonation down so it can be seen a little better. You can see how the flame it, it envelops the coil itself and then when the pinch current effect happens, bam, it, it, it it just immediately throws a massive amount of, of high charge plasmas against the bottom of the of the table there, and uh, it, it magnetic field has has quite a bit to do with the amount and frequency of of these plasma. And and here we again we're gonna watch these they split. They're gonna as soon as it hits that current, uh, uh, another field line, it splits. And these magnetic field lines split plasmas. Now I've actually got some high re higher resolution photographs of these uh, these in steel images we can take a look at. That really outstanding to take a look at. This is. Uh, this is what happens when 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 water is created through high energy plasma, and uh, well, we'll take a look at this other. This is what happens when when one of these plasmas come in contact with a, a field current, you know, that passes through our atmosphere continuously. These lines of magnetism, they pass through everything. When one of these run into it, they they burst, or they 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 do the Bennett pinch. 
and we'll take a look at uh, filamentation and Merklin convection and that's another one we need to take a look at let's take a look at that picture and what, what, what what's what's known as Merk Marklin convection is is a naturally occurring plasma such as lightning or um, you pull the plug out of the wall that spark that flies out that's a plasma field of high high charged energy and inside these these high charged energies they find that that, that a, a, a elemental separation has taken place and, and, and you have iron and, and silicon, magnesium, sulfur, carbon, all the way out you know through oxygen, hydrogen, helium towards the outside of the of the of the plasma itself. All these elements are present in, in lightning or any type of electric arc. The same exact elements are present inside the sun in almost in the exact same order and you can look at the periodic table of human elements and they also show that the human body is made up of these same exact elements these same elements are present in the human body just like they are in a plasma field and earth and any other object that's in space they, they, they all are going to have an iron core you know and this is this is this is what's in the, the center of a plasma an iron core and that's in the center of, of this plasma right here and, and you can almost see as it it goes out the bands of, of light change that you know show these different types of elements they're present in everything electric it is truly an electric universe these, these bands are present in everything these elements are in all of us and let's take a look here at what has been found throughout our solar system. We'll take a look at uh, first water on the sun. And they, I won't read all this, but they have found that uh, that, that these uh, they found water, hot water obtained is in in in, in these sun spots. And, and of course, they've, they've actually found that this in the, the light. Waves that they measure, light waves with uh, spectrographs that you know show the light or shows water it as a high energy plasma and shows that water actually exists at these higher vibrational states and and, and this is what they're measuring from from not only uh, our sun which you know there's quite a few articles here and these are abstracts you have to go and register here to get the full articles it's, some of them are free some of them I ain't paying for them and unless you can go register and, and, and get the whole article but I'm not allowed to show that because of copyright anyways there are articles about water on the sun molecules everywhere high temperature rotational transitions which is one we have water and beetle juice and interiors and I mean that they're an abundance of water and when you get this full article here, that's the first thing on the, uh, on the, in the article, the abundance of water available in Beetlejuice and, and in Terry's and, and, and the fact that it, it, that's what these things produce, yield an abundance relative to a hydrogen, uh, atomic hydrogen, you know, that's, it's everywhere and it's created through electrolysis and, and, and electricity and the fact that, that our galaxy or, or we'll just start with our earth our earth gets its energy from 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 the sun and the sun's energy it goes in and out of our poles and that produces a magnetic field around our our planet our our sun our earth is tethered to the sun at these points around the sphere which are the dimensional points of a vortex with an induced current from either direction as Francis says he likes to think of it as two vortexes pulling against one another well they are they've actually emerged and, and you don't want to look at it as a tetrahedral triangle you want to look at it as a spherical cone of vortexes and induced currents and the flow here it, it goes in both directions at both ends but there's a base flow that, 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 that you know that these these sparkling currents work on the sun and the earth they're, 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 these currents come from the center of our galaxy and they're tether our sun to the center of our galaxy 
and these currents as they go in at the polar regions which is what a magnets this is how magnets work and, and all these planets are doing suns and they're all doing the same thing they, they emit uh, uh, or necessarily emit they have an attractive force around the center as the current of its magnet is induced at its poles so you know nonetheless anything's going to be attracted to it all the way around uh, this is just the process of way the current that, how the current flows into it the pinch effect that takes place that is creation and this is how it all works and, and you know this is what they're going to you know end up having to rewrite most of our educational system especially the sciences because uh, well plasma physics has proven pretty much all of this right here and the fact that the suns and stars are mostly water and, and, and the fact that that we are mostly water and, and the earth is mostly water and everything's mostly water there's iron in everything and there's iron in all of us a center of our blood cell the very part of our whole body is, is an iron element right in the center of the blood cell you know when you put electricity in the water it turns red the same reason that the blood's red you, you, you look up copper based uh, look up copper based blood and, and it's blue of course that's because it has copper element right in the center of the cell surrounded by other elements no less when electricity is passed through copper and water then the water turns blue too it's because of electrolysis that the blood is blue and, 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 the, and because of electrolysis the blood is red through the element that the electricity is passing through and uh, there's, there's tons of this man there's tons of it to learn we're still you know we all need to be digging in you know trying to figure out what we can the best we can do uh, it, it, it's all going to be rewritten and and you know, I don't think it's as complicated as, as it's it's made out to be. We always try to make it more complicated than it is, and it's all about just positive and negative, truly. And, and the fact that that when you look at this whole scale here, the entire scale is is it's made up of pattern recognition over and over and over. This is the same process happening in an atom between the uh, the nucleus and the and the electron. Yet this 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 pattern recognition as far as the human body goes is only repeated one time whereas all the other patterns repeat quite quite readily and over and over the, 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 the there's only one time where the human body or the human entity is repeated and that's the actual universe itself and, and the cell of, of the biological brain that's that's a pattern record you know repeating and and to see that to understand that these these things are going to work regardless and 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 and, and if, if 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 the south pole is anode and the north pole is cathode then, then this is going to work in this direction and when that pole flips and it and and and, and the uh the, the currents flow in the opposite direction then then you know you get the opposite effects the only thing in this entire universe able to manipulate those currents are the biological brain and the universe itself these other things do what they do because that's all they do yet the human brain the biological brain of well all living brains have an ability to manipulate that positive and negative current that's truly a profound thing to understand that you you have ability in your brain to manipulate this world around you and then you know that's exactly what we do it just doesn't happen in a, in a metaphysical type way it, 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 you can look at it that way if you want to because actually the thought of your mind is what makes your hands move and when you put your hands on something you manipulate it and it's done that way through thought it's really a physical process that we're here doing at any rate there's a look at where we're at here and and maybe that'll help people understand maybe it helps me understand that we still don't know everything we may not ever know everything what we will know when we learn about electric universes this energy comes from somewhere and that's why they don't want to say that that's why they don't want to give up gravity because gravity this energy comes from a creative source and, and that's what 
That's what the electric universe and science itself will prove. We just open our eyes and look at it. So at any rate, I hope it helps. Peace and love. And big heads up.